Om Shanti, welcome back. Now we are doing the recording of 14th of September's God Blessing. Supreme God Father wants us to have the controlling power. Now this is something like putting a brake onto a vehicle. If your brake is loose, the vehicle is going to stop a little later. And if your brake is powerful, you might skid a little bit, but still stop faster. So here God Father wants us to have the controlling power. That means we have control over our thoughts, our actions and reactions. And how do we do that? We are going to explore that in a bit. So in the topics heading Godfather says, may you control yourself with controlling power and put a full stop as a constantly powerful soul. So the awareness of the father, the point, supreme creator is a concentrated point of infinite light. Or it has been mentioned in different religions that God is light or God is nur or God is point of energy or a spark or a big bang point from where everything exploded and that's consciousness not a physical particle but a consciousness from where the infinite source infinite energy infinite metaphysical energy or you can say infinite quantum field energy emanates and that quantum field is also known as god is also known as infinite being is also known as a conscious being but you see it's not a particle it's a consciousness there's a difference between atom and there's a difference between soul or atma. So here we are trying to understand that we need to be aware of the point. So the awareness of the father or the creator, the point and you that means us, a soul, the point makes you powerful and putting a full stop. That means I put a full stop to the negative thinking which is going on right now as soon as I remember that I'm a point of light. So when we consider ourselves to be a soul and a point, we become more powerful because we get away from the physical consciousness of the problems, of the people, situations for a moment and we can get time to think about all the things with clarity because we con we're connected with the infinite source of purity and with pure mind and intellect, we can think about the issues, we can think about how to face problems, we can think about what is the finest and the purest method to go about it without any deviations of ego and jealousy and anger and greed and other things because these are deviations from our thinking. So God then says, so it makes you powerful in putting a full stop. That is a point. So any situation comes, point. But then the remembrance is important. When we forget about soul consciousness, when we forget about other things and generally these things happen because of situations or people and we don't know when to put a full stop but it is supposed to be learned over a period of time. A powerful soul has the controlling power to control himself. Such souls do not control others. They don't tell others to behave or to act or to change themselves. You see, this is the difference because they are not giving the power away to other soul and saying that till the time you don't change, my mood is going to be awful. Till the time you don't react in this manner, my mood is going to be pissed off. Till the time you don't behave in this manner, my mood is going to be totally negative. And I'm going to behave in a very negative manner with you. So you are actually giving away the power to the soul and the powerful souls don't do that. They take the power back. They become humble as soon as possible. They become courteous as soon as possible. They become polite as soon as possible. But naturally, not a behavior, not an acting. And Supreme Father says, a powerful soul has a controlling power to control himself. Such souls do not control others, but they use the power of transformation to have control over themselves. They have the power to put right anything that has gone wrong. That means they can change anything immediately, instantly. Now that break has to happen faster and that happens over a period of time. It might not happen instantly. It might take you one month, two months, ten months, maybe a year to put that break faster. And it's like a practice. Every single day you're practicing in a gym also you practice, yoga you practice. Same thing over here. God then says... They have the power to put right anything that has gone wrong. They never ask, am I someone who has to do this all the time? Am I someone who has to always apologize? Am I someone who has to bow down always? Am I someone who has to say sorry? Am I someone who has to become humble? Because they understand that when I become humble, when I say sorry, I take away the power from that soul. That means I am not saying that now you are responsible for my unhappiness. You are responsible for my sadness. I am humble means I am cutting off that energy which is going to you. The blame energy, the, the, the complaint energy 
and the criticism energy is no longer going to go away from you i need my powers back i need to concentrate right now i need to be focused right now so i don't want to dilute my powers by thinking about what you said what you thought i'm just here to say sorry let's nullify let's dilute this energy and let's take it back that's what they understand are you that powerful soul would you like to learn this method then god says they never ask am i the one who has to do this all the time do i have to tolerate everything all the time why can't i shout back why can't i take revenge why can't i speak harshly why can't i do all this 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 all the labels which you have put about the other person you want to take revenge you want to be like that person you are going to become powerless you want to give away the power to that other person now god then says a powerful soul would think this is not dying but claiming self sovereignty for heaven that i it's not that i have to die i have to kill my ego i have to kill my i have to kill my revenge taking uh habit i have to kill my replying back habit why can't i do this why spirituality is so tough why can't i be normally angry why can't be normally mood off why can't be normally controlling others why can't be normally telling others what to do what not to do why can't i take revenge god says if you want your peace of mind if you want to feel powerful you have to kill this within yourself you have to kill the old you to bring about the new you to experience the new feelings because the old you feelings are different the new you feelings will be peaceful compassionate loving happy joyous at every moment choice is yours the old you feelings mood off mood swings revengeful thinking stuck in that situation stuck with that person for life long stuck with that energy for life long stuck in that situation stuck in that mood for life long what do you want that is what god says decide for yourself and if you really want to learn this method do come and learn this method of brahma kumaris with the somshanti